cooler? Good question. Things I didn't think I could do before. Um, well, being a dad and having a family definitely has an effect on your uh, perspective and ambitions. Um, I am like my main mission in life. I feel is to be a good dad. I just I want to be there for my kids. And um, I have a nine-year-old boy and soon-to-be six-year-old daughter. And um, generally, while I love and I desire to travel more, when we have the opportunity to travel, it basically means we are going back to Japan to spend time with our relatives there. And I have no problem with that. I love it. I love going back to Japan. But um, the, the last time I traveled was about, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago to a country other than Japan. And um, there's that place in my heart, that kind of gap that's like hunger for seeing more countries and I want to do that but I also want to raise my kids to be solid global citizens. So I want to establish that foundation living here in St. Louis in America and having the taste of Japan and getting that culture instilled in them in the language. But eventually as they get older and we get these opportunities, I want to be a part of their global exploration. Like I want to be with them. I want to go to Africa with them and go to countries that I haven't been to and explore. And um, my wife and I really love, we've always loved going to the third world areas, like, you know, the lesser, uh, lower socioeconomic areas because we're rich. I mean, I'm not rich per se, but like in America in general, we are just, we are so wealthy, but it's just the norm that you don't even see it. And I love going to, if you go to another country and you go to five-star restaurants and nice hotels and stuff, that's okay, but it's basically just a nice version of where you live now. I like going to countries where they don't have as much as us and, and seeing why those people are often extremely happy, even though they're living very simply. So I want to keep exploring that. I want my kids to be aware of that and how lucky they are. And um, that's a part of what I do. I mean, I feel like my mission in life or at least my goals with speaking is just to let people know of the opportunities that they have on a global scale. And so I want to keep exploring and learning and bringing that back to people here in America and saying like, keep getting out, keep expanding your horizons and your awareness. Well, happiness seems to be a theme of yours. What do you think it takes for people to be happy? Listen to your heart. Okay, you can go inside. No, I'm going to stay right here. If you need to if yeah, we are. Um, happiness. Uh, repeat the question. What is? Well, what, do you, what do you think it oh. takes to be happy? You know, I think it's just a matter of uh, listening to your heart. I mean, I, we all have this voice and an intrinsic desire to do something. But I think there's different degrees to which we listen to it. And some people listen to it intently. And other people are just like, well, they, they they pay more attention to the resistance voice, which says, I can't, and here's why. I'm not fill in the blank enough. I'm not, you know, rich enough. I'm not good looking enough. I'm not cool enough. I'm not smart enough or whatever. And it's just like, I have that, but I just choose to like, okay, that's there. I'm going to deal with it. Like, I may not be the smartest person, but I'm going to have, the, I don't need to be the smartest person to have these crazy experiences and continue to challenge myself and learn. And so I think the, I think growth is key to happiness. So always trying to push yourself and learn new things, trying to challenge yourself. And um, and I just think really striving for that level of, I guess, so recently I, I, I there was a comedian and he said, don't chase the competition, chase the dream. So I think we, we get easily caught up in comparing ourselves, especially with social media. You get online, oh, this person did this and this person has that, and like, man, my life is really empty because I don't have that stuff. But it's just like, once you realize that what you have is enough and who you are is enough, that's like a key starting point to happiness. It's just being content with what you have, but striving for more, striving to challenge yourself and to learn more, and I guess to attain more if that's what you want. And so, that's where happiness starts. So, we're going to wrap this up here. Do you have any thoughts about uh, big, big philosophical issues, like what what caused life, what's the purpose of life, what's the meaning of your life, <laughs> anything like that on the big <laughs> questions? Uh, wow. I My freshman year of college history teacher, I think we asked him one time, and I, I, I was raised Catholic, and I went to private 
I went to Catholic grade school, I went to Jesuit high school, Jesuit college. And church was a big part of her life. And so living a Catholic life, you know, living a Christian life and do good now so you can get into heaven and all this stuff. And um, my freshman history teacher, he was dictating to us, you know, essay tests and all this stuff and history. And I don't know if it was, I don't know if I asked him or somebody else asked him, like, what's the point? And he's like, I think life is just to sustain life. I think we're here just to continue life, and keep it going. And we're like, what about when you die? He's like, I think you're dead. I think you're in the ground. And that was like the first time that ever popped into my head. It was like, oh, like no religious idea there, no afterlife, like heaven, all that. And this is a guy teaching at Jesuit school, you know, that he wasn't like preaching per se. So I guess I'm not saying that I believe that or that's my view, but I guess I am saying that I don't have the answer and that there's a wide variety of ways to approach life and different cultures, different religions, and different personalities um, dictate how you feel about life. And so for me, my purpose in life, I think the purpose of life is just to explore and get to know other, those other perspectives and just build empathy. And as you were asking that question, there's one concept that popped into my mind that um, I am convinced that, okay, so I gotta explain, do you know what a hostel is? A hostel is like a student hotel and they have them all over Europe and all over the world. It's just like a bed and a roof. You pay five bucks a night, 10 bucks a night. You stay there, there's other young people and people traveling. It's a real communal experience and you meet people from all over the world and just different states of, uh, you know, economic levels and stuff. I'm convinced that if George W. Bush had ever stayed in a hostel, we would not have gone to war in Iraq. <laughs> and I say that because when you have a perspective and a global perspective and a feelings of empathy in these relationships with people from other places and you see what life is like in these other places, like you're going to know that your efforts and your actions are going to have effect on these other people. And so this is a long winded answer to your question, but I just think the point of life is to connect with people and to learn about people and try to make the world a better place then you found it. Well, give us the name of that book again. Permission to Play, How um, Teens Can Build a Life That Is Fun, Fulfilling, and Promising. You can look up Permission to Play on Amazon, and you can look me up at joefingerhut.com, and I'm on all the social media channels at joefingerhut. So, um, any last advice for the viewers? Any advice, personal advice? Or about life or anything um, with. you know what I always encourage people to do it's just a real simple thing is uh, be silent and think for a couple minutes sometime like if you're watching this if you're having any confusion or questioning in your life just turn off your phone turn off your computer turn off your TV just get disconnected I mean here we are sitting in this wonderful backyard and um, in nature and it's really powerful to just sit and just let life flow through you and think and really pay attention to what's right here like what do you want and then just think you know how possible is that what can I do to take steps forward towards that and uh, your life will be better for it well Joe thank you very much and the book again is permission to play all right thank you all right bye bye